Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you about an offer. You can get essentially 25% off. So just buy one, get one 50% off on select toys, which includes all magic cards. This is like a giant supermarket, kind of like a Walmart, but I heard that it's better. It's a little cleaner and the customer service is, I've never been to one. There's 200 of these up north in America. And I don't live up north, I live in Texas. However, they always seem to have really good sales on Magic the Gathering product. And I believe this place has lots of old product, which is nice. 50% off, buy one, get one off. It's interesting to see GameStop, Walmart. Walmart still, I believe the packs are $3.33 because it's it's not it's registering as the discount the free for 10 discount still which target has as well we see a big movement away from local game stores and magic to big box stores uh, this one has over 200 different locations it's a supermarket of some type and generally speaking, it's quite impressive to a 25% off is a pretty good deal. And it looks like 25% off all the toys as we move to holiday season, star city games has seasonal discounts until this, uh, January 2nd. Dave and Adams is literally always on sale. Anyway, we are seeing low, low prices, just the bottom prices of these boxes and packs and uh, we are only going to see more. I mean, GameStop had $9 bundles, $1 packs. A $9 bundle is less than a dollar a pack. Uh, five below is carrying Magic product. The board game for $5 or below. I assume it's $5. Uh, the dollar store is carrying the legacy Magic figures. If you, have, if you saved money and you were wise with your money, now would be the time to buy, buy, buy. Now, as we move towards Christmas, right now it is December 4th or 5th, the first week of December. As we move closer and closer to Christmas, it's going to be better and better sales. Save your money. The sales are coming and the sales are going to come from these big box stores, not your local game store. Your local game store is pretty much doomed. I, You, you can't have it both ways, right? I see some people talk about, oh, low prices for players. Oh, game stores are bad because they're uh, hyping these sets up and just taking, making a lot of money. You either want low prices or you want a local game store. If we're moving to the model of low prices, then this is good because everyone has one of these. It's, it's literally a giant supermarket. And Everyone has a Walmart. Everyone has a Target. So when Walmart goes on sale, it is a sale across all Walmarts. And they do price matching as well as Target. So they would price match this. I'm almost certain that they would price match this newspaper. I like it. Uh, it is a new environment. It is 100% player friendly. It is give all the powers to the player. Make the cards as cheap as you possibly can. This is not the only, this is not going to be the only special. I would not be shocked. Uh, Toys R Us already had, what did they have? They had like 25% off special too. Uh, Target had a 25% off special. When we get closer and closer to Christmas, the 25 will become a 35 and maybe a 40% off because they're trying to get rid of inventory and they're trying to make a good profit and loss sheet for the end of the year. Save your money and wait. One of these chains, I mean, you only need one of them. It could be Amazon. It could be Mastrop. I'm seeing like really low prices already, but I guarantee you somebody will break. Right now they're bending, but they're not breaking. I mean, maybe GameStop. GameStop, I mean, less than a dollar a pack is insane, right? For a standard pack. Your local game store has zero chance of competing against these prices zero chance of competing against this type of distribution network. They don't have money to have an ad. They don't have money to even print something like this, right? I mean, I don't, I've never seen a local game store print uh, a, a newspaper like ad where you could see what was on sale because they don't stock that much of it. 
the issue here is if you stock 10,000 of these units and you can advertise it, then yeah, that's a really good deal because you're going to try to sell all 10,000. But if you only had 10 of these in stock, why would you, printing the ad would cost more than the profit that you made from selling the 10 in stock. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what discounts and deals you are looking forward to. If I had to guess one place that will just fire sell magic cards that's not named GameStop because that's already done it, they have already done it, it would be Toys R Us or Barnes & Noble. I guess that's two places. I am almost certain that Toys R Us is bankrupt right now and they need to get rid of magic because they didn't want to carry magic in the first place. Like they just had to carry it. I don't know why, but they, they're not big fans of carrying magic. I can tell you that much because when I go to my Toys R Us, which yes, the MSRP is more expensive, but I see like stuff from RTR still like and everything in between. Unfortunately, that stuff was kind of crappy and no one to buy it, especially above MSRP, but it will go on a fire sale. Like they will sell it. They will light the product on fire and sell it. I'm almost certain about Toys R Us. Barnes & Nobles, I feel like it's going to do the same. They just have randomly have magic product. They even have the magic board game still. Eventually, they're going to be like, nah, we, we don't want to carry magic anymore. We need to get rid of this inventory. Surprisingly, they're carrying anime figures. I, I wouldn't have put the two together, but okay. Anyway, bye guys.